The United Arab Emirates is the gold strategic partner for this WESIS High Level Plus 10 event in Geneva. And the United Nations has recognized the support of the UAE over the last decade. Now, from the delegation, I have the Director General of the UAE Telecommunication Regulatory Authority, Mohammed Al Ghanim. Hello. Hello. Hi. But how important is that recognition to you and the UAE? It's it's really it's really very important for me in particular. I've 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 done whistles since its inception. So uh, when it's when the United Nations announced that uh, they will hold a they will hold a summit, I was one of the people who participated in establishing the rules of procedures with summit. That goes back to year 2000. And then I participated personally in the first phase of the summit, which was held in Geneva, and then subsequently also uh, the second phase, which was held in Tunis. And then uh, I was uh, named as a chairman of WISIS committee back home uh, with, uh, with members from other uh, agencies of the government. And we've been working extremely hard uh, to basically achieve the goals and the action lines of, of, of Tunis agenda. And we've been participating every year in the ITU forum, uh, and we've been partnering with the ITU every year. So when we, when we have received this award, I think it's, uh, we, we, uh, we were really proud of it to start with. It, is, it has recognized all the really hard work that was done over the past years. We've been producing a special report to WISIS every year where we um, basically show the world the progress that we are making in achieving the uh, Tunis Agenda goals and Tunis Agenda action lines in all, in all areas. So um, whether in action items A or B or C. So we've been working very hard and this recognition came in a time where it gave a reward for, uh, for all the people who have worked so hard and for the country who have given its commitment to WISIS it has given its support to the ITU, it's given the support to the entire process. But speaking to your colleagues, it seems that you have the capacity to uh, build a, a smart government approach, for example, a very advanced ICT economy unilaterally. You have those capacities. But why it was important for you to participate in a multilateral international body? Knowledge sharing to start with is extremely important. We learn from each other. We give knowledge to others. We, uh, if we have an area where uh, a part of an ecosystem where we are good at, I think it's our duty to share it with the rest of the world. Vice versa. I think uh, we have learned so much from other countries and their implementation on different projects. And when you talk about, for example, smart government or smart city or any of these uh, uh, projects that we are undergoing right, right now, the implementation, there are some elements of, uh, of, of these projects that, that we can learn a lot from others who did it in, in their own way. Uh, and when you, when you talk about these things, you, it's, a, it's, a, it's an ecosystem across all, kind of, all sectors, whether it's health, education, higher education, uh, insurance, uh, financial sector, and so on and so forth, including government services. So, uh, and in and, and, and these events, you get, you get to know or you get to see experiences in all different sectors. Well, the United Nations will be reviewing the uh, process next year in 2015 and looking beyond. That uh, vision process is already taking place this year. Uh, what will you be looking at, specifically the UAE, in the coming years? Um, to start with, we would like to see the, prog the, the, the process itself continue, and in a different form, of course. Uh, I think uh, we, we can look back with pride and say that the, the past 10 years, a lot has been achieved globally. I'm not talking about the UAE in specific right now. Don't forget that the next phase of, uh, of technology evolution is going to be on broadband. Despite the fact that the broadband pickup is so fast, but still, you know, it has not yet, we have not seen the uh, full extent of how much we can get out of uh, having a higher speed. Today there are there are uh, applications which is uh, which is already in the lab uh, and has been tested and uh, and those those applications touches virtual reality which needs a higher pipe a bigger pipe bigger bandwidth and imagine that this speed a higher speed is been pushed to your mobile phone or your laptop through uh, through uh, through um, a fiber to your home or uh, to your business. So we have a lot to see, 
we are talking about uh, uh, you know um, surgical operations that happens virtually. Uh, somebody uh, you know can do the operation remotely on a patient, which which you, which we find that now very uh, very strange. But this might happen. Uh, there are systems which are right now built in order to reduce traffic. It's happening right now, but the extent in which uh, you know future technologies can be adopted in order to make things better is, is something that we yet to see. And that's because of um, the evolution of technologies going from the 4G into uh, the next generation networks where we will see new things that will fuel uh, the economies around the world. That's wonderful. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much.